Good morning to another morning devotion. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for blessing us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. We thank you for being with us even now. While we slap you are with us, and now that we awake, you are still with us. What almighty God we serve. Despite what we are facing today again, full lockdown, we look to you for men's come and I have. I have come from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And so we pray a blessing on this opportunity that you've given to us, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And again, we are talking about the Lord's Prayer. We're going to focus on the second supplication. Again, we are coming against being bored. Prayer helps us to overcome boredom. As we are locked down 24-7, some of us can't go to work. Some of us don't have work to go to because they've let us go. And so as believers, we want Christ to live in us. And one of the things he wants us to do is to pray. And so this supplication declares, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And in my mind, the kingdom of God brings peace to us. It moves us from the power of darkness to light. It moves us from suffering in this world to being overcomers in Christ. But the will of God brings war because we have to change. The kingdom that we serve before we become saved is coming against the kingdom of God. The values that we had is coming against our values. This world don't want us to go. It wants us to stay entrenched and green. But the kingdom of God delivers us. And so when we pray the will of God be done, his kingdom come, we're actually inviting the peace of God but we're going to fight against self. We're going to fight against the culture that we once knew, that is sin. And we're going to indeed allow the kingdom of God to dwell in us. So let's pray. Thy kingdom come. Be dominant in my life. Be Lord over my life. Let your will be done. Do away with what I want. And I submit to you. My hands, my feet, everything. I submit to you that your kingdom come in me, that your will be done. I assure you, if you pray that every day, several times a day, God will speak to your heart. And indeed, his kingdom will come and his will be done in your life. Father, I thank you because as we declare this supplication to you today, we desire your kingdom come, your will be done. Corona has come. COVID-19 has come, but your kingdom is greater than it. And we declare and decree that your kingdom will come and that will dissipate in the name of Jesus. For the weapon that form against the body of Christ, the people of God will prosper. Thank you that our hearts are right and we are in your sight and you will not leave us nor forsake us. We give you praise, honor, and glory. In this Lord's day, as we come to worship virtually, we pray, God, that we will give honor to you. Bless every pastor, every minister, every bishop. God, I pray, every priest, oh, all the men of God and the women of God who will declare the day, anoint afresh. We give you praise in the name that is above every name. And it's Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. We bring the health professionals and those on the front line fighting, our leaders of the nations, indeed the body of Christ. We pray your will be done. Your kingdom come in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day today. Enjoy your service virtually. Give God an opportunity to honor your life today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.